Hi, I'm Paul Block, and I'm in quarantine just like everyone else in the world. And I've been reading some of my uh, comments on my YouTube videos now, doing a lot of catching up lately, and I found a couple things with my sharpeners that people are commenting that they're doing wrong, and it's a very common, very easy to fix solution to it. I'm going to show you what you're doing wrong. If you're that person out there getting a curl or a lip on your blades, I'm going to show you what you're doing wrong today. My sharpeners are two shelf steels. They're patented and they're made to flex so they pick up on any kind of cutting edge. I can sharpen pocket knives, hunting knives, garden tools. I got hundreds of videos online. Go to my YouTube and you'll see I sharpened everything you can think of. Okay, back to this knife. You take your butcher knives at home. When you squeeze them in here, don't lay it up against one pin or the other. If you put it up against this pin, when you pull through, you hear that? You're squishing that blade over where it's going to feel sharp on one side, but like a butter knife on the other. That's because the blade is tweaking. You're getting that curl. What you're doing wrong is, see, watch. See how it hits on my nail? You squeeze it in there, and when you draw through, keep it centered. Not to that pin, not to this pin. Center it. Start drawing through. That's my buddy Baxter down there, you see. Anyway, no metal should be coming off the blade at all. And what it's doing is squeezing the edges back together, taking, basically tightening up your blades, putting that original edge back in them. You got good knives, yes you will get shaving sharp. Now I've sharpened lots of odd blades too, and um, I found the pizza cutter. Well, I got a pizza the other day, and it wasn't cut too good, and so I got a pizza cutter. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Put them in there. Be careful. When you draw through, just bring the back up and let it roll through. Like I said, my rods will adjust to any cutting edge. Just feel for it. As you get sharp, get in a little bit deeper. Instead of coming straight in, get it right into that V and do your finish off. Hear the difference from that's breaking it down, that's honing it. A few good rubs like that. You take swords, katanas, machetes. If it's a cutting edge made to be sharp, you're going to get it very sharp, very quick. My sharpeners are also very, very well known for doing your serrated edge knives. I've done every style of serrated knife there is to do by now. It'll work on all of them. I take serrades, saw in the middle. These pins vibrate. They chatter up and down through the teeth from the tip to the valley. Sharpens through the whole entire tooth. Let me get a little bigger knife. I got see what's in the drawer. Hang on. Bread knives. Great big teeth. You just put them in there, rub it back and forth. This is Chicago cutlery. There you go, Chicago cutlery. I needed that sharpening. Thanks, Paul. Roll them back and forth. You get one side in, the back on the way out. Hear that? Just a little bit of pressure, that's all it takes. They'll take them, it don't just sharpen the tips. All the way through the whole tooth is what I'm getting at. See that? Razor sharp. And that's also real good when you have your pocket knives with the teeth in the back. You can see I've sharpened this one before, I'll do it again even. But you put them in there. Here it changed. And you can see in the shine, let's take them over here in the light. Can you see that shine in that camera? It follows every tooth perfect from the tip to the valley. Are you picking up on that shine, yeah. Billy Joe? Yeah. 
Okay, here's another important thing. Now this this knife here has a short bevel on this side, and you got a deeper bevel on this side. You don't want to get no curls in here, right? What you want to do, being a round flexible pin, like I said, you can pick up any edge, any angle. It's all common sense. The short side of the bevel, I'll put a little bit closer to that, adjust it by my eye right there, then look at the other bevel on the other side, and now determine like which way, like here or here. See what I'm saying? You feel for it just right, draw the pressure through. You're not changing that original bevel. Now if you got a V-blade, it's gonna be a little different angle, of course. But see, I follow right through from the back to the tip. Once in a while, not often, you get a little lip right in there. If you do use the side of one rod, knock it off. That'll straighten that back out. But uh, well-made knives, yes, you will get shaving sharp. See that? Use a little bit of oil on the rods, that helps. Leather belts are always nice. Just strap away. Bring it the other way. Just kind of feel for the blade. Use a rough leather and uh, you'll be surprised how much sharper knives get after leathering. A uh, pizza box lids will work too, the cardboard. And scissors, that's another big important thing. Scissors, I use one rod. Follow that bevel. That'll break it down, gets it shiny. Then you're going to develop a burr in the inside corner. Hold it tight. Push the burr off. A lot of outdoor tools can be done like that. Um, how, see how sharp they got. Paul, I keep getting a question online that they can't get their knife sharp. I think it's got to do with that they're pulling straight down. Can you show me the technique instead of pulling straight down on how you would yep. use it on a regular butcher knife? I'm glad you pointed that out, Billy Joe. <laughs> a lot of people when they're using these we find pulling straight down. Now listen real good again. See how that's kind of rough? You don't want that. You want to squeeze it and bring that back up. Hear that smoothness? See, as you get better, or more confident, you go a little bit faster. Hear it getting smoother? That's what I wanted to show. You want to ride it up high, not straight down. That way. Oil on the rods always get you sharper. If you want to go all the way, you use leather. If you got plenty of time, you ain't got leather, you guys can use your arm. Your arm is actually leather. Arm shaving sharp. See that? Again. Block sharpener. Arm shaving sharp. I'm bored, guys. Want me to go on? I got the ever sharp sharpener over here. and I'm going to show you some more stuff I got. We'll get back to that later. But block sharpeners. I sell these for $20 online. If you go to the block sharpener dot store. Um, or if you're going to buy in bulk, go to the block sharpener dot net. And the more you order, the cheaper they do get. We do put our last name, our website on our handles. We give them a lifetime guarantee. And uh, you can pull the rods, turn them if you ever need. I got lots of videos online sharpening hatchets, swords, thistles, things around the garage, stuff around the house, coffee grinder blades. Uh, pretty much you name it, I've sharpened it with them. Being they flex, they pick up on any edge. It's a honer, not so much a sharpener. It will sharpen every blade. Give me uh, your comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you.